What's up, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel, episode three of this X and Y Cage Lock. How are you doing, Cloud? I am so tired. <laughs> I I feel that honestly, I do. Uh, but in this episode, we're we're gonna be getting a lot more encounters and doing pointless story stuff. Yep, I'm doing some of that pointless story stuff right now. Uh, I'm talking about the Pokemon daycare. Oh, see, I did all that last episode. Oh, well, well good for you. I'm going to do it this episode so the oh. people see it twice. Um, okay. Wait, what's up? So, I'm doing the rival fight, the double rival fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the Yoxes I'm going up against. Ooh, which form? Uh, give it a second so I can actually see it again. Uh, looks like speed. Ooh, just a big horny on the head. Yeah, in loose arms. I, I mean, a, they kind of all have loosey arms except for. Uh, ooh, I found a lucky egg. Um. Problem is, I do not have a dog type. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Ooh, so that painter there, he dodging. All right. Um, so just a quick thing, like um, for the people before we started uh, recording, um, uh, guys sent me like ten Discord messages. Didn't see any of them, um, and. The it wasn't like my notification literally said ten. Eight messages. Said ten, so I might have missed some other ones, but the you point probably, is probably miss the ones from yesterday. That's probably true. Um but the reason <laughs> that I was missing them um was because me and my wife were sitting down for dinner and we were watching Squid Game, uh the original one because I just now got her into it enough to watch it, actually, after watching the new reality show one. Yeah, I, I can't with Squid Games. I gave it a chance. I watched, like, a good chunk of it. I think I watched, like, half of it, and I was like, nope, I can't. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Um... You could always try the reality show one. It's different, I guess, because you know it's not as scripted. I mean, I'm not going to support the reality show one. Uh huh. Because uh, all the contestants and the original creator of Squid Games is suing Netflix. Really? Why? Uh, physical and psychological damage. And the owner is, or owner, the creator of Squid Games is doing them because of, uh, they never asked him for permission to use anything about Squid Games for it. Mm hmm They were just like, oh, this is a popular show on Netflix. Um, let's just do this. They never asked for permission. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why he's doing them so i'm just like yeah i'm not going to no <laughs> that's kind of surprising because i would figure um especially when you sign a contract with netflix that you're also signing away some of the um i guess rights of the property that you're doing uh yes and no while it's being like made uh-huh netflix has the rights to it but once the show is done then the contract is not in void. Anybody can buy the rights to it. Mm, okay. So, so he just he bought after it was done and the contract was done. Mm -hmm. He literally just paid for the rights for it. So that way he can have full rights to it. So I almost feel like that in a sense was also another bold choice because taking the rights from Netflix almost guarantees you're not going to continue the property which he knows he already has, like, a gem on his hands there, too. Well, 
he wanted to see if any other streaming services wanted to like take it on. Mm -hmm. Offer more money than Netflix was gonna offer him. Keep him in. So. Yeah, I mean. I just got my first Pokemon of the episode. So. Nice, nice. What'd you get? What'd you get? I got Mr. Pancake over here. Mr. Pancake. Well, I'm thinking of Stunfisk. I don't think that's right. Nope, that is not right at all. Yeah, okay, what's Mr. Pancake? I mean, it's just Pancake. Oh, are we talking Demo's about, not... um, Raichu? Pancake Wizard. No, okay, we're not. <laughs> no, um, one of my uh, online friends, I actually have... One of the few online friends I have not done anything with because our schedules don't really match up that well. Yep, yep. Um, he has a named mascot on my channel, which is also his channel's mascot, uh -huh. which is the uh, low tad line. Low tad line. Hmm. I mean, I guess they do have pancakes on their heads, basically, so that seems fair. Why he went for Pancake Wizard as his YouTube name, I do not know. No, it's fine. You know, we all have weird names as our mas mascot or YouTube names or whatever. Yeah, Dr. Cloud. <laughs> exactly. That one guy, too. Actually, mine actually does have a story to it. I, all of them have a story to it, but it doesn't make them less weird. Well, because so so mine, uh, once upon a time when YouTube first started, I had a channel on them. I was one of the first channels on YouTube to mm. have a thing. And people can't look it up anymore because I really deleted the channel. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but it's called, it was just called that one guy because like everybody was everybody's just like hey like prior to that like with like other like online presence there or even just like actors and stuff but like hey that's that one guy hey that's that one guy so i was like you know i want to be that one guy yeah so i made that and then i wanted to do like a fresh restart on on stuff that's why it's that's why it's that one guy too Instead of just that one guy <laughs> yeah but like uh yeah i i hear what you're saying there it's just um it, none of the stories typically make a lot of sense for like why like you, you could have picked anything but this is what you picked i mean like yes i could have picked anything but like I don't know, man. Like, when did YouTube come out? Like, like mid two thousands. Two thousand seven. Yeah, so I was like late elementary school, beginning of middle. School, I want to say it was when I made my chat. No, I was late elementary school when I made my chat. So, ask, ask, late elementary school me. Why I went with that name. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll ask him. Oh boy, I thought my game was gonna crash. I did a horde in the cave. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I forgot you can do a horde. I don't know. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay, I have an age slash here. Um, are we allowing uh, him to just keep stance change as an ability to make him worthwhile? Yes, I always, whether it's then we fight or or theories, I always allow Aegis Pass and Pokemon like Aegis Pass. It's dependent on their ability, like without their ability, it's literally useless. I usually let people. Okay. He's probably the best thing on the screen. There's like a Laron, there's a Lickitung, there's a Shelmet. 
I mean, Shelmet will eventually become good. He kind of becomes good. Thing is, like, oh, Tom Wash, man, You're giving me all. All the time, it confused me and paralyzed. Oof. All these things evolve is the problem, and I don't know what kind of abilities they're gonna have, so I'm just kind of rolling the dice on them. Um. And dude. I don't even. What would Wotan want me? Electric Waddle. Um, I'm pretty sure Rotom Wash only has one weakness, being ground. Yeah, but like, I, like, I know ground, but I'm just like, is it? No, there's not, because water's only weak to electric and grass, and... Uh, electric resists both of those. I don't want to go this with is Lickitung. Gonna, gonna bug in daylight. Hold on. I want to see when Lickitung learns rollout to evolve. Licky, licky. Um. But no, because it has to have at least one other week. Because it usually has levitate. Exactly. It's not that busted. It's pretty. It's pretty busted. <laughs> grass. It's also weak to grass. I thought electric resist grass. Am I wrong? It's weak to grass and gra no. Uh, grass is neutral against. Ah, uh, that's where I was wrong. Then it's the other way around. Grass and ground is resist half resisted to. Uh, fire, flying, ice, and water. Bard resisted to steel. Yeah, so... Uh, every time a Pokemon has, like, an ability like Levitate or whatever, it usually ha like, uh, it usually has a weakness on top of that as well. Yeah, maybe it's just that grass is just very uncommon. Um in the meta scene, so it's just stupid good. Don't get me wrong, Rotom Wash is probably, in my opinion, is the best Rotom. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate statement. The only other one I could think would be like... ...be Rotom... ...maybe? Uh, I think Mower and Heat, uh, both are like more commonly used. Well, no, I'm saying like, cause a uh, fan, I believe it gets like access to like defog and stuff like that. Good to get like lock. Yeah. Uh, it's annoying this showman has sand stream. <laughs> Let's get the bubble doll. Nope. All right. Cool. Man, I hate being sick. I can't think of any Pokemon. I mean, it's fine. You know, uh, sometimes you're sick, sometimes you're not, and sometimes you can't think of Pokemon names or anything. Like I was like, I was like, I think Obidos. I think Poison is weak to Psychic, but I'm not 100 percent so. I literally had to Google it on yeah. my phone right now. <laughs> yep, it sure is. I think just psychic and ground, actually. Now that I'm thinking yeah. about it, yeah, psychic and ground is what poisons. Kind of crazy. All right, that shelmet's biting. Oh, that's actually something I didn't already know at all. It's resist, this it to fairy type. Poisonous. Yeah. That makes sense. I thought it was neutral. By your time. Yeah, I think um, it's the same way with steel.
There we go, take the Pikachu out. Don't paralyze me. Okay. Do that. Fight, fight somebody for absolutely no reason. I mean, yeah, all the time. <laughs> that, that feels like the entire point of the game. Fight people for no reason. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, man, that's going to take so long. <laughs> All right, Sandstorm's gone. Great. That'll speed up the battle just slightly. Just slightly. Not too much. Yeah. But that's all uh, I can ask for. I wish I would have gotten this. This would have been great for holy game. Oh, yeah? What is it? The Drapion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Drapion's pretty good. He's only got one weakness. Does he have one weakness? Yeah, he's only weak to ground. Oh yeah, he, I keep forgetting his bug. I keep thinking he's solo poison. No, he's uh, poison dark. I thought he was bug. He's bug is scroopy, but then gets the uh, dark typing. Yeah, that makes no sense. To me. I get rid of that. Hey man, bring it up with Pokemon. It's like, why is Charizard not pot dragon type? Because they chose flying instead. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? Okay, this is fitting. This is fitting. I just went into coughing. Because you be coughing? No. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, the reason why I said it's fitting is because I have the future Wobble Fett in my PC. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. That, that took me a second. Yeah, the, and the Wobble Fett's name is Jesse. Pro play? So, so this has to be called James because. Oh, man. The time it takes hordes is so annoying, but it'd be it'd be so nice if you could just go ahead and just throw a ball at the Pokemon you wanted. I keep forgetting about hordes, if I can be honest. <laughs> It's fine. I'm sure you're not missing out on anything crazy. Uh, I mean, I already have three legends. So. <laughs> oh, well, all right. I just accidentally killed the Lickitung, Tongue, so I guess I'm catching the Shelmet. Not the Shelmet. The Shelmet evolve into Excelgore or Excavalier. I thought it's the one they didn't look like, so he would get Excelgore, but let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just. All right. I mean, Excelgore is like super duper fast. He's got something going for him. I think that's like all he's got going for him, but. I don't know. Let's see. El Gore. Oh, I'm not dealing with it. And take it out here. Dang, Excelgore learns Water Shuriken and Sword and Shield. And yeah, Sword and Shield he does. And he learns it in Oras by level up. Oh, yeah, he does. That's so random. Uh, oh, he's got a good special attack, too, actually. Okay. Man, I guess he is kind of also like a ninja as well, I guess. 
Yeah, he gives very ninja vibes. He's got like the long scarf thing that a lot of ninjas do for some reason. Yeah. Um, by the way, you want to hear something else fun? What? So, my water heater decided to go out on me. Uh, <laughs> so I have now, um, become a bit more of a handyman and was replacing parts of it. So I went ahead and replaced like the top part of it that does heating for because it's an electric water heater. Mm -hmm. It's got two of them. So place the top part and the rod that was in there, it was gone. It had like burst in there. So it definitely needed replaced. Yeah. Um, and then after I do that, it still isn't working. So then I replace the thermostat in the upper part of it. And yeah. I, do, I do that with with challenge because the wires for it that I needed to reconnect weren't long enough. So I had to get wire extenders to make that work for me. And then after I get that done, I am then left to turn it back on and it's still not working. So now I have to get an electrician out and see if there's some kind of problem along the breaker or with the wire connecting it. So I found out what I missed out on Route 8 without oh. doing a hard. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do it from weakest to strongest, okay? Mm hmm So weakest, Bonzo. Okay. Next week is, in my opinion, the Fampy. Because Dom, because Dom Fen is just strong. Just that we have much else for, right? Long and bulky, right? Yeah. Then there's a Zora, the future Zorok. Yeah. Then there's a Raikou. Okay. Then there's a Vigoroth, so a future Slacky. <laughs> that that's pretty good. Um uh. So so I just got on the other side of the cave and got my Route 8 encounter, because I, I did do a horde. Um and there's a Reggie Gigas in this horde. Okay, my game just lags like It's it does not like this spot. I mean, there's a lot going on on this spot because there's like an upper and a lower that has stuff going on. Oh, it's kind of sturdy. Yeah. Um. By Let's the see, way, I'm gonna get that. Speaking of upper and lower, though, um, do we get encounters on both the upper and lower part of Route Eight, or just one of them? I usually do both. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, that could be good if I would have caught that Vigoroth in one of K's mats with held items. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if uh, Reggie has anything that can hit me. Uh, what do you have out right now? Typing one. Uh, right now I have a Hypno, but he hasn't used any attacking moves. Uh, cause I think we'll have at least tackle. Uh, right now he should have Foresight, Confuse Ray, Knock Off, and Dizzy Punch. So he should definitely be able to hit me. Yeah. He's just not for some reason. Who knows? I don't know, Pokemon's weird. They just roll a dice or something, I don't know. There's the Dizzy Let's Punch. He crit me. Oh, this thing has Sonic Boom. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And we're coming back. Okay, out of all the Pokemon that can have this ability, why does it have to be a coughing? Oh, yeah, what has it? Coughing has Moxie. Oh... 
I mean, if he was wheezing, it'd be a little better, because, like, wheezing's got decent attack, but... But still, like, I'd rather have, like, my Entei have Moxie. I mean, obviously, but you can't get what you want, you know? Can't always get what you want. Um... Out of here. I'm gonna do fishing for... You can only hit me with knockoff, so... Fisherman, where are you? There you are. Hey, give me your rod. Let's see if I can confuse you. That's gonna be best. Thank you for your rod. What are the chances do you think I catch this Reggie right now? Uh... What kind of bars do you have? Uh, I think I only have Pokeballs. Base them. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I've got some great balls, though. Slightly higher was still slim. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, man, this is going to be a long one, though. Oh, that's right. He's got Foresight, so he can hit me with Dizzy Punch. All right, no, I don't like that. That thing seems fighting. Alright, he's asleep. Alright, what did it get? What did it get? I'm actually scared. I'm gonna go to mouse clicking because I don't want to like run from this or accidentally kill it. <laughs> what is with these encounters? Okay, no shakes. What'd you get? A Bonsley. Oh. <laughs> He'll evolve soon. <laughs> At level, he's level five. Yeah, he evolves at twenty. Yeah, but like, oh no, he's fifteen. I got the high fishing one. Okay, but still, it's just like, uh, like, even Sudowoodo is not that good. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, what about you? Well, I don't want to waste my balls on you. Stay in the ball. Switch. Oh, I wish I had like false swipe or something. Oh, am I just dead? No, he hit himself. Okay. No, I I feel that. I I also wish I had false swipe. Ooh, do I roll the dice on if I think Fury Attack will kill? Ooh. I think I'd prefer going for Mud Slap, honestly. Honestly, I need to see if there's a quality of what for this game. Mm -hmm. That way, when you catch Pokemon, you can choose whether it goes to the box or goes to your body. You don't have to run back. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to have that. I'll be honest. I don't know. Somebody somewhere probably will. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely possible. You're right. Uh, this no. Bonsley has magic. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> What's the deal with like having like these like really good abilities on useless Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, what are you really gonna do with a Sudowoodo? <laughs> I mean, Sudowoodo won't even have magic cards. I know. And you're definitely not bringing the Bonsley. And I haven't done X and Y in so long, man. 
Oh. I was like, ooh, encounters. I could go to the right here and get encounters. Then it was like, nope, you cannot. Uh, yeah, no, you can't, unfortunately. But you have to do story stuff. Yeah, then there's... You and you gotta do the very long, uh, Rhyhorn riding. But yeah, but that's what I was trying to get to for the encounter. Can you not go in the cave until, uh, you... Ha have, like, the quest or whatever? You have to talk to the... fossil guy first. Where you can get into the route. Really? Okay. Yep, his assistant was just like, Hey, you can't come this way. Huh, interesting. Alright. Let's see what I got for my encounter, and... Of course it's a true ruby. <laughs> you're, you... <laughs> you, you... You know what? Yeah? I'm not gonna sleep on true ruby, because... When I did my 2v2 cage lock of Oras, mm -hmm. we had a Imposter True Ruby, and it won us the first two case matches. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Dang. This is the choice. Alright, I'm gonna hope that using Mud Slap on this Regigigas won't kill it. It's gonna kill it. <laughs> it might, I'll be honest. <laughs> But I'm gonna roll the dice on it. Mud slap. I literally cannot hurt this anymore. One attack took it down slightly more than half health. Oh! Hey. Took, took away slightly more than half health. So. Do Game Boy Luke. It just bloody walks, man. <laughs> You're not wrong. It, it work. It just works. Okay. If I can't hit it again. So we're just we're just throwing balls now. I'm gonna get this thing, and it's gonna be a problem for you. The only sad thing is I can't bring it into uh, more than one cage match. No, you can you can bring each Pokemon into at least two. Uh, but only two. Like it's not like six or anything, you know. I mean, one. There's no point to do. This is only three pucks. Yeah, but you want to get all the points. No, 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 no. The points don't <laughs> matter. I know. If we were doing like the classic cage lock that nobody does anymore, then the points do matter because you can 6 0 somebody. Please. Right. I don't I do not do it that way because like I've never done it that way. Just because it's like. It gets kind of annoying when you just six O them because you just have that good of a team. Because that's just get three legends, basically, and there's a six O. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not wrong there. I mean at the same time, like I, I appreciate it. De depending on how the teams end up because sometimes you can just out predict your opponent and then you know it feels like you deserve it and it's not just that you have a busted team yeah see like if this was my encounter on this route that would have been amazing mm -hmm. yeah Sableye would have been amazing to have man yeah Sableye is pretty solid I mean uh, I don't think it has a mega in this game does it think it does? Yeah, the, the megas between the two games just, it confuses me. People lie. No, go away, Ad. I don't care about you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. Oh, he broke out. He broke out. He broke out. You didn't get. You didn't Game Boy Luke it. I. You're right. You're right. Add a funny clothes. Come on, Moss Brain. One. Okay. Don't no, sleep. Omega will be out for South File. Okay, so no, Meg. Okay. Okay, come on. One. Okay. Like, majority of the Megas were introduced in this game. Mm hmm. And so it's not far fetched to just assume that, like, all of the me like, assume that, oh, this Mega is from the game. Yeah. Yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. Yes, okay, it's fine. All right, what are the odds of that happening? Of what? So the cave file to gain to the next town? Yeah. That's when I went... No, no, it wasn't that cave, it was about eight. That I went into... Uh... The Dryogi or what? Not, not Dryogi, um... Vapion. Mm-hmm. Well, in the rock route, I ran into a Scroopy. What are the odds of that happening? Uh, they're they're not very high. I'll definitely tell you that. Great ball. Okay, it's only one shake. Salic bit. Aim for that belly, I guess. I'm gonna catch There's this. There's an item over here, and I do not Game Boy know Luke. how to... <sighs> The Game Boy Luke failed me! You probably didn't time it right. That's probably why. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Nope. Okay. Come on, Reggie. Okay, he's up. He snapped out of confusion. That's fine. I'm confused, that's also fine. Wish I had a repair right now, because that would be him. Stop playing Pokemon. Hit my knee! What's your favorite hit? That is a tough question. Um, it's probably Lee though, honestly. Mine is a uh, top. I was thinking top at first, but I was like, mm, no, no, I do think I like Lee better. The reason why I like top is because up until the 3D games, he always was he was always spinning on his head. Yeah, true. I do. I do appreciate that. Which is a Beyblade. One the thing on Crush is dreams. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, what I really appreciate it about Lee is that his legs are stretchy, and I didn't know that for the longest time. Yeah. I'm. I'm really questioning if I'm gonna catch this, um, Reggie Gigas. You're not going to. Where's the faith? <laughs> really, there's no hidden item on this rock. Okay. Nope. All right, cave time. You know, it, it's gonna be nice um, whenever we're able to also share screens again, cause that'll be fun. Yeah. But I'm oh! Not... Okay. Duty. Oh yeah? What'd you get? What'd you get? Elected. Ooh, Duty. yeah. Hey, speaking of that, I just got the, um, the Electrizer, so I got the perfect thing for you over here. I think I saw one in one of my shops earlier, too. Yeah, didn't you have it set up that, like, all the items appear at some point? Oh, uh, all the evolution items do appear at some 
Yeah. Um, hey, speaking of that, Shelmet normally evolves by trade. Do you know what level it's going to evolve at? I do not know. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say probably like, like late 20s, early 30s. Okay, okay. I don't know how long I was throwing balls. I was saying that it could have been awake while I was throwing them. Boy, this thing does not want to get in a ball. It just walks, man. It just walks. Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> uh. Okay, he's awake. He's awake. He's foresighting me. He's sighting me. He has a magnifying glass. He is now asleep. I have such good accuracy on hypnosis, it's crazy. I don't think I can fit this full name on here. I'm gonna do it slightly Okay, Luke. Yes! Yes! That's a Reggie right there, baby! Oh, you caught it, huh? Oh, yes, I caught it. What? Spiedle is evolving. I think this is the first evolution of Gary's. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, mm, I might have had one. I forget if I caught my Butterfree as a Butterfree or not. That was a terrifying masquerade. You better watch out. This is the eye Pokemon. <laughs> He's about as terrifying as my Butterfree is. <laughs> I mean, hey, they're the same typing. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> All right, what ability do you have? Well, it has like huge power or something crazy like that. Okay. Okay. It just got slightly better. Okay. Not crazy good, but slightly better. What a get. Uh, I'm not telling you. That's so rude. That's gonna hurt. Nah, I probably will never sit into a cage map. Doesn't matter. He has lightning rod. That's not bad. Not bad at all. He's now immune to electric. This was one of his weaknesses. And he also gets special attack increase every time he gets hit by electric. True. Um, I don't want to see this damage again. That's a pretty good amount of damage from a Luxio. Oh, come on. Come on. I could have had a blast toy. Oof, that's oof. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure the slot I picked for the Kanto starter selection yeah. was the Squirtle slot, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can check in your item, see if you have the blast tonight. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm in a dialogue scene. I'm just trying to get to the next town now so I can uh, put the Regigigas on my team. Eh, don't need it. I, I really do, though. I've got a Butterfree and a Diggers Bee on my team right now. <laughs> oh no, it was the Bulbasaur slot that I- Aw, oh, this horde's so much better than mine. I want to take in that Rhyperior, no doubt. Is this considered a different cake? I think it's the same. I think it's the same, yeah. What does it just auto go to no? Uh, I think so. 
They do want you to actually read the dialogue, just so you know. Oh, no. No, you're supposed to hit no. Yeah, I told you. They want you to actually read the dialogue. Oof. So this on my screen would be scary. If I did not have an intake. Fair enough. I have a Verizon on my screen. That is uh, yes, scary. I know. I know that's not how you actually say it, but that's how I always say it. No, it's fine. It's Verizon Wireless. We all know. I've been seeing so many ads for Verizon recently because um, we have Peacock because we'll watch America's Got Talent. And yeah. <laughs> it's just these caroling ads where a husband's like uh, caroling with them to tell his wife, hey, I want a new iPhone. And then they're like, hey, just join Verizon. They'll give you a new a new iPhone 13, an iPad, and an Apple Watch all on us for trading in your old phone. That's actually not a bad deal. I know. Oh, there's a T-Tar here. It's, oh. it's too bad Verizon, at least in my area, absolutely sucks. I think it's okay in my area, but... Basically, unless if you're in like a big city, like New York style big, uh -huh. like it's basically like these, like the greatest you can have is just most places it kind of sucks. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. There are a lot of people going to those like smaller carriers now, like Mint Mobile or Straight Talk or something like that. Hey, I, I've just found Blast tonight. That's funny. Like, I, I really like your moveset. You're not good on one, even though that would be a perfect move. Um, like I, just, I just turned my lap with no to learning uh, rain dance. Ooh, that's that's interesting. But his moveset is already really good. So I was just like. Um, but I had one person I was talking to at work and they were just, they said, oh, I'm just gonna, um, quit with like Verizon and join, um, Ryan Reynolds network. And I was like, oh, okay. You mean Mint Mobile, right? Oh, uh, yeah, Mint. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a funny way to talk about it. Did, did you see his newest movie that he's producing? Uh, no. So no, it's called If. Nope. Like I dot F dot. Nope, definitely and not. It stands, for, it stands for imaginary friends. Okay. And it's basically like a live action Foster's move. Okay, that, that could be pretty interesting. And I'm just like, it looks hilarious. Like a typical Ryan Reynolds movie would be. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm also just like, I don't know if I want to spend the money to go see it in theaters. I've been thinking recently, I just want to go see a movie in theaters. Like, I don't really care what it is, but just to get the theater experience. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly we're on the top talk of movies, theaters. I'm actually tempted to get me and my wife that I think it's called like uh, the AMC A-list membership. Yeah. Because like every month, like all the confirmed movies for next next year, like we will because, you know, as long as you watch more than one movie a month, it's worth it. Right. Well, next year, outside of one month, there's at least two movies we want to see every month. Dang. Of confirmed movies. So we're just like, um, yeah, we're probably going to do this. We don't know yet if we are or not, but we are very, very, think, like, very likely. No, I mean, I, I hear you, like. I've definitely thought about it myself because like like you said like as long as you see like a movie a month then it pays for itself well like the price the price of it a month is like one movie a month right so as long as there's like but you get 
Like, uh, I think it's like three tickets a month or something like that. I didn't realize it was that much, actually. It's like two, it's like two or three. We're good. But yeah, but it's it's that's actually a really good deal if you see at least two movies a month. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like a lot, but if you just kind of take it as like, hey, I'm going to go do like some me time or we're just going to go chill and watch a movie. It's really not bad at all. Yeah. The only thing that's kind of oh that's it. Uh, the only thing that's kind of stopping me from really doing it, if I if anything will stop me, is that uh, my uncle is a a manager of a movie theater. Uh huh. So as long as the movie has been out for at least a couple weeks, mm -hmm. he can get us into any movie we want. Be as long as he's booking. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. What do you have right on this level? Uh, I have to look up this Pokemon. I no tail fight of this. I don't think he has anything. Oh yeah. I, I just got my I got my encounter on the Rhyhorn route, and I got a Frogadier. Are you okay? Are you dying? <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> There's a slacking that I'm facing, and he has faint attack. Okay. And slack off. Uh huh. So I'm just like, okay. Okay, so he. Okay. Maybe he d maybe this is wrong. Maybe he doesn't have this. Cause he just went for yawn. Maybe he doesn't have this move yet. What level is he? It says 22, but according to my Pokedex app, mm -hmm. he's supposed to get fan attack at level 19. No PS fan attack. But he went for the Pokemon that is not very effective on. Interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he definitely has Fan Attack. Fan Attack. Why didn't he go for Yawn? Fan Attack, Slack Off, have... Encore, and Yawn. According to mine, he's supposed to have Fan Attack, Punishment, Ammo Arm, and Slack Off. Uh, he does not get those, those two except by, like, Relearn. See, according to mine, it's a level one move. Exactly, that's why he only gets it by relearn, because his level one moves like are scratch yawn, encore, and slack off. Uh, according to, like I said, according to mine, his level one moves are scratch, encore, yawn, slack off, hammer arm, and. Yes, um, hammer arm and punishment, though, are only by relearn. See, mine doesn't say, say that. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Well, I lost my Hoopa. Oh no. <laughs> he probably went for faint attack on it. Yeah, you probably did. It probably decimated your Hoopa. Oh well. That's yeah, I was. I, I can say this much Hoopa was not really like a long term Pokemon. What do you mean? He's a Hoopa. I have an Entei. Hoopa is completely different than Entei. Yeah, but since we can only have one legend for the final fight... Entei was gonna be my legend for the final fight. I guess so. I mean, to be fair, I think I have my legend for the final fight now. Well, that's if I get, like, a box art legend. That would be the only way I won't pick Entei. Yeah, you get, like, Rayquaza or something? Like, if I get, like, a... Like, a Rayquaza, a Rayquaza, or if I get, like, a Lugia. Any of the Kyo- e either of the two Kyoam fusions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are solid. 
Honestly, I also have a really good backup lesson in case if some in case if I don't find a better lesson and something happens to it. You do? Yeah, I have a Kyogre in the back. You do? Yeah. I don't remember this at all. I called him last episode. And a Pokeball of all things. I mean, last episode was like two weeks ago, man. Um... Are you still in the cave right now? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm in the... I'm in the back part of the cave. Okay, good. Right I... before you get the fossils. Trying to make sure, like, I'm not, like, super duper far behind. Oh, why... Why... Why would I cheat you chip away? Oh. I mean... Uh, chip away is not a bad move. It's like 70 power. Yeah, but still, like... It's not stab for for this Pokemon. Why would he want it? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Does it like ignore stat changes? Is that what it is? Uh, I don't know. I know it's one of those moves that the more you use it, the stronger it gets. Hmm. Okay. Something along those. Lines. Something like that. Stop scooting around, you dummy! All right. Oh, I just got ambushed by a Pokemon. Oh, there's a Pig Knight. Hello, Pig Knight. All right, I'm coming into the cave. What's going to be my cave encounter? Oh. It's a... Ooh, it's a semi-sage. I, I just realized I even completely missed an encounter. I could have gone before. Oh, what was it? The city encounter. It, is there an encounter in the city? Yeah, if you go to the bottom, uh huh. If you go down, oh, the oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, go yeah. All the way down into the right, I think. Might be the left. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it will, or it might not even matter. Uh, but it'll pop up as this. Yeah, you're right. I mean, also you could have gotten Route Eight on the bottom if you didn't already too. No, I did. Okay, I did not. Uh, Those of deals on the TikTok shop for Bill. There you go. See these. Ooh, ooh. I think I'm gonna get upset about like what my other encounters could have been in this cave besides the semi stage. Oh no, I got. I know I got upset. Caracosta. I mean, download Caracosta. Okay. That's a good deal. You know those, like, uh, packs? Do you feel packs that, like, comes with two flavors in a shaker cup? Yeah. They have one of those for only 30 bucks. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. A lot of this stuff is not that crazy. I mean, that's pretty standard, you know, they kind of mark it up, make it look like it's more of a sale. I wanted to take part of the Black Friday sale, but I didn't have the money to do. It. Like, literally, I got paid. My wife got paid. That was the next paycheck was literally the day after the sale ended. Yeah, that's how it goes. I was like, I now. Uh. <laughs> I could have got a Dialga in the cave. The Dialga is pretty. Dialga <laughs> is pretty good. I mean, I just got a Reggie Gigas, so it's like. Uh... Is that the one that kills I mean... you? I mean, yeah, like, like, if it wasn't for foresight, like, 
Koopa, like, would be in a stalemate, basic. Oh, against, like, the slacking? No, like, against the Reggie. If he didn't have foresight? Uh, I mean, he has knockoff. I thought knockoff was, uh, fighting. Nope. Dark. All right, I made it to the back of the cave. All right, well, I'm out of the cave. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> hey, I do think we both picked up fossils, though, so I think we'll both get two encounters here. Yep. I did the same thing you did and uh, said no to the guy. <laughs> No, no, I kept saying yes, I need to say no, that's what it is. Yeah, his dialogue is like flips. You saying yes, it's like, yeah, I don't want to. Um, by the way, according to my time clock, uh, we've been going for about an hour. Uh, how long do you want this to go? Um, well, that's dupe. Um, I say maybe, maybe... Uh, that's a good question, honestly. <laughs> well, because a good, like, a good, like, because, like, 10 minutes after I started my recording, I was trying to mess with stuff, trying to get it to run smooth. Right, right. So, I mean, technically, if you think about it that way, we still have, like, five minutes. Okay. Kangaskhanite. But I mean, Kangaskhan without parental bond kind of. I mean, it's not bad. He still has, I think, like 120 attack. Yeah, but. Like, out of other megas, like. I mean, come on. <laughs> Be my last encounter. How much second I do? That did a pretty good amount, actually. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll take it. I... Actually, no, I do have this. Yeah. Piping I do have of this kind of sucks. So. And of course, I'm missing. Of course. Hello? 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 Oh, game? Okay. My game literally froze. I was like, hello? Ooh. Uh, mm. I want that. Uh, that's gonna have to be it. Hey, boy, look. It just works. What are you catching? I just caught a Y horn. Okay, I, I I guess I misspoke. Uh, where are you catching? The city encounter. Oh, okay. So you didn't do your like fossils first? No, I did. Oh wow, that was fast. Yeah, when I said I was out of this out of the cave, I was literally walking into the the place to do the fossils. Oh, so what were your um fossil encounters? One dupes and one I think it was like a Dale Caddy or something. Oh. Kind of mid. Oh, but honestly, cool. I'm thinking of keeping the dupe. Dupes is optional. You're not wrong. I mean, well, okay. Correction is not dupes, it's species, but it's basically... It's basically the same thing. I just had to we say that because if not the comments are gonna be like, um actually it was PC. Man, you got him there. You tell him. <laughs> By the way, I looked up Kangaskhan, he does have 125 um attack in his mega form. 
Yeah, like, I'm not saying he's terrible, but I'm saying, like, they're all better megas. Out of curiosity, what is a better mega? Mega Rayquaza. <laughs> In this game. Um... Both of the Mega Charizards are better. Okay, I, I had a feeling you'd say that. I honestly like. I keep trying to think of like Megas and then I keep double guessing myself. Like, wait, is he in this game? For what's worth, um, Charizard X has 130 attack, so it has slightly more, but I think it's also faster. Mm hmm. I think. Let me make sure of that before I get roasted. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold your pants. Uh, no, sorry, they're matched in speed. They both have a hundred base. Uh, but just doing slight team modif. Fair enough. Uh, but Charizard Y has one fifty nine special attack. Plus, it gets drought. Like it's pretty crazy. Ooh, that crocodile is kind of scary. I'm holding myself back. Right? Okay. As you said, crazy. I'm holding myself back to not make reference. Okay, I'm not. I'm not quite as meme familiar, so I I don't know what the reference is at all. Well, I mean, since you don't know, I might as well quote it. Okay. <laughs> so the meme goes, crazy. I was crazy once. It lost me in a room. A rubble room. Rubble room with rats. Rats made me cra crazy. I was crazy once. It lost me in a room. A rubble room. Rubble room with rats. Rats made me crazy. And it just keeps repeating and keeps repeating nonstop. <laughs> okay. Is I the word crazy is supposed to like trigger them? Like, say that? Mm -hmm. And since it ends on crazy, it triggers them to say it again. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, this double battle is actually kind of scary. Oh, the double battle before the fossils? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a little scary for me. Yeah, I can't fight a crocodile very well. Hey, at lot. least you don't have a slacking fighting. I, I yeah. mean, you're right about that. I, it, it's still scary, though. this one I confuse it then it'll be once you get your foss once you get your foss all right are you just making your way towards like the second gym city i'm already there i'll gain my encounter <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ooh. okay I mean, you, you, right. you can tell me, I, I, can, I can turn on the speed up and, like, get through this real quick. I mean, hey, if you feel like you need to do that, then do that. Uh... Used, he hit himself. Okay, I think I'm safe from here. So, we'll Thank just you. turn this up a bit. Fine. I guess I'll have it now limited. Damage you a little bit. I definitely have to damage this. That's it. Oh, I gotta quit. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Good. It was a foggy deal. Oh, funny, I just caught one. I was like, oh, this has a pretty high catch rate. I have a pretty low catch rate. I have to, like, weaken it up some so that way I can actually catch it. Yeah. I was like, two ice shots will bring it to red. It'd be fine. Second ice shot, quit. 
I, I completely understand. I did that to my semi sage. It was like, all right, I got in good range. Let me hit it one more time. Uh, I, cr I crit it. Okay, it's dead. Um, this time I'm not going to forget. Eh? Oh, that's right. I forgot you had sweet scent. Yep. You just have free uh, honey all the time, forever. Ooh. Oh, no. I hate choices. Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me. It's literally just two choices between an Empoleon, uh huh, because I have a lot of water types, uh huh, and then a Scyther. Ooh. I mean, if those are but your choices. The Scy but then with the Scyther, like. I could win a cage match with it and give it an Eviolite because uh -huh. I have one of those. Mm -hmm. Or, or I can evolve it to a Sizzle mm -hmm. to get the Sizzle, uh, Sizzleite and Mega Evolve it. Yeah. That. Uh. That is uh, definitely a tough choice, but I also feel like um, you kind of already pointed out a good thing where you have a lot of water types already. Yeah. In this game. Uh, this is, tell me. Eponion is really good. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. But I do think for like diversifying and also Scizor is really good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like I, that's why I said I don't like choices. <laughs> I, I think the choice is pretty obvious to me, but you are also <laughs> going against each other, so you could be using before psychology on me. Hey, I mean, I, I'm using your own logic. All right, I gotta make my way out of this cave now. Oh, right, well, I guess I'll kill this. Pull me on. One thing I was trying to check for is um, if Mega Scizor is this game or not. I, I One thing I do not like is that this Empoleon is now plus six. D does it have Swords Dance? Yes. <laughs> hey, there was Mega Mega Charizard X in the cave with me. I guess it. Yep, he was. Okay, so he is in this game. Okay. It's like, at the very least, you know you're good there. Like, he's a very solid choice for a Mega. Um, well, I'm just gonna make this nice slow trip back because for some reason my speed up is not doing it. Alright, well, I just have a Scyther left. Oh, interesting. The important thing I literally one-shotted. That's a bit sad. Well, no, I purposely one shot. Yeah, but it doesn't make it less sad, you know? Empoleon's a pretty cool Pokemon. Yeah. You know, out of the, like, um, currently existing starters, who do you think is the best trio? Gen 4. Yeah, that's a really good choice. That's not my favorite. I, that's just who I think is the best. Yeah, I think it has to be Gen 3 or 4. They both just have, like, really solid starters. I mean, or even one, you know? Well, like, Gen 3, in my opinion, has 
Like two of the three starters are really good. For Gen 4, all three starters are. Okay, in your <laughs> opinion, for Gen 3, who's not a good starter? Okay, I mean, that just boils down to what's your definition of. Exactly, that's what I said. In your opinion. I'll tell you off, Ken. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that crazy, you know? You can have a slightly controversial opinion. Ah, uh, I... It's just... Very con... <laughs> Alright, um, so I just got my first fossil. I might speed up here too. Okay. What are you doing again? Are you are you trying to catch Scyther? Yeah, he's just not going to stay in the ball. Oh no shot. Oh darn it, it's not the one I thought it was. Alright, well, as soon as I turn on speed up, he caught. Nice. You know what? Screw it, I'll say it on I'll say it on. An episode. My least favorite Gen 3 starters. <laughs> My opinion, he's just. Govile? Oh, not Govile. Uh, Sceptile is just. The least interesting one. And, like, not as good. That That is certainly an opinion there. Like. Govile. I like Govile way better. That tile. Yep, that that that's definitely an opinion there. <laughs> um, so it, I I've gotten both of mine uh, fossils now. So uh, up to you. Like, do you want me to like keep going, try to get to the town, or what do you want me to do? Yeah, I said we can end off the episode, and then next episode I can just goof around. Uh, you get uh, you get to the city. Okay, that sounds good. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will see you guys in episode four with the second case match. Um, let us know down in the comments down below. If you on uh, team guy or team cloud? We would like to see where you guys stand. There is and the next time. Catch you guys there. Peace. Peace.